See these beautiful smiling faces and you'd be forgiven for thinking you're in India. But in fact, these young people are at the Ningxia Medical University in the northwest part of China. 18-year-old Ibnad is from Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. Based on a friend's recommendation, she chose the university to pursue her MBBS, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, last October. Uh, I, have, uh, I have heard a lot about this uh, university. Uh, when I was in my country and I have also so many friends here before I come here so they told me that Ningxia Medical University is a really uh, good university for uh, studying in medicine so that I come here. Ningxia Medical University started short-term education for international students in 1993. In 2005 it began to teach clinical medicine in English making complex knowledge more understandable. If that's mother is a senior nurse, born into a medical family, she's been inspired by her mother and has wanted to become a doctor since she was a small child. Although it's difficult having at least three classes a day, Ibnat still feels lucky. She says many girls in Bangladesh are not as fortunate as her because they get married at an early age, have families and often don't get the chance to study. But she's grasping this opportunity in a bid to fulfil her medical dreams. Yes, I, I feel really lucky after coming here. Uh, and um, I always uh, say to my other friends who are living in um, my country that I'm really lucky to be here and I'm studying uh, medicine. It's the first time Idnap has been away from home, but she's made many friends, making the journey easier. Along with their studies, they also find plenty of time to socialise. Ibna began to practice dancing when she was 10 and she sometimes performs in the dormitory for her friends. It's a means of entertainment and a way to overcome any homesickness. And also I feel good by dancing or singing whatever you say. Yes, from heart. Actually, the thing is like that. If you don't put your feelings, your expressions on that, it can be come out and you will also not enjoy it. So, It usually takes six years to complete an MBBS degree. It will give Ibnat plenty of time to come to understand China and broaden her view. Besides professional medicine, there are also a variety of other courses and activities for foreign students, such as cross-cultural communication, Chinese language and parties. Actually, my life um, must be different like this because after coming here, I have learned a lot and it's a abroad country. I'm learning so many things because my tradition, my country's culture is not uh, like the same. Ibnat is a Muslim and she feels welcome studying in Ningxia as it's China's largest Muslim community. Muslim restaurants are seen everywhere in the street and the mosque makes Ibnat feel at home. Like Ibnat, Anuj, an 18-year-old Indian boy, also heard about Ningxia Medical University from his friends who have completed their studies and returned home. Along with the rapid development of international education in China, more and more foreign students choose Chinese colleges and universities as their destination. According to the Ministry of Education, there are now more than 330,000 international students in China and the number is expected to grow to 500,000 by 2020. Although medicine is a well-respected profession in India, medical education in the country has always been regarded as a privilege for the elite class. Anuj feels blessed to get a chance to study medicine in China. For him, overseas experiences are also an important part of becoming more mature. Among all the classes, students like the practical courses the most. Here in the lab, Anuj is observing cells with the microscope. Very good experience and fantastic experience. As, we, as I, I personally learned, learned many things, how to manage and all, I learned it's uh, very helpful for me in the future also. Like I learned to how to spend money wisely and also I learned to be like, uh, I became more responsible after coming here. Anuj is a big fan of Chinese cuisine. He also considers himself a good cook and often makes traditional Indian food for his friends in the canteen. As the unique high medical institution of the region, the university has accepted about 177 international students for full-time education, mainly from India. 
Among them, 175 are completing their MBBS degree. Most of them will get their medical licenses when they return home after graduation. Eighty foreign students have graduated from our university, and ninety percent of them have passed their medical license examination in their own countries. It means that they have got good theoretical and clinical education during the six years, which makes them qualified to be a doctor. Immersed in her medical books, Ibnat feels closer to her dream of becoming a doctor. The road is undoubtedly tough, but rewarding.